who are in. Let us uh, unite our hearts in prayer. 다 같이 기도하시겠습니다. Dear Almighty God, our Creator and our Heavenly Father, first of all, we want to pray for our great nation. For centuries, America has represented and offered refuge to waves of immigrants, refugees, and political asylees in pursuit of freedom and happiness. May you continue to bless this great nation of ours as a beacon on the hill that shines saving light of hope into darkness and despair. Second, we want to pray for our president, our politicians, and our leaders here in Washington, D.C. May they use their influence wisely and effectively to serve those whom they represent. Today, all of us from many states across the USA are gathered here at our great nation's capital for a cause that is near and dear to our hearts. Right now, countless North Korean refugees are stuck in China and in other nations around the world. And many of them are suffering from inhuman treatment by the Chinese government and by the Chinese police. They also face deportations back to North Korea, which means execution or imprisonment in horrific conditions. We want to specifically pray for those paperless and stateless North Korean orphans living in China. We also pray that the H.R. 1771 will pass. We want to be the voice for the freedom on behalf of the voiceless, our North Korean brothers and sisters, especially those suffering in China right now. In the meantime, it is our earnest desire and prayer that this Congress will send a strong message to China that they stop sending North Korean refugees back to North Korea. We will not rest or stop praying until freedom is finally won for all North Koreans, wherever they may be. So help us, Lord, so we can help with your power those who are in dire straits. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.